Hey everybody, welcome uh, to an STC Pod special video presentation. We're going to be talking about the RCA video disc player. Uh, in this case, it's the Selectivision. Um, what is a video disc player, you're wondering? Most people, when they see this and they see the media that came with it, think it's uh, just laser disc, but it's uh, it more resembles your record player playing music than uh, a laser disc. Laser is optical, whereas this actually has a, uh, a stylus that uh, picks up electronically the grooves and uh, the machine decodes the video and audio that uh, is uh, is encoded in the grooves. Now, let's take a look around this thing. So it's super heavy. It's got the beautiful wood grain finish that we all love in the 80s. Uh, this sucker came out in 1981, was only available for two years before it was discontinued. This is seen as a major debacle for RCA. Uh, they invented this technology in the 60s, but it didn't come out until 81, and by that time, VHS was out, Beta was out, of course, LaserDisc was there to, uh, for the high-end customers. So when this came out, the quality kind of matches VHS and it just didn't really stand a chance. Uh, let's take a look around here. On top you can see it uh, describes what the media is. It's this capacitance electronic disc system, which is what those discs were I showed you earlier. You can pop this out because, like a record player, you would have to periodically change the stylus, and that's how you get at it there in this door. It's a pretty convoluted piece of equipment, this thing. Lots of moving pieces, lots of stuff has to work to make it work, as well as the media was extremely delicate. And that's the reason why the media is uh, encapsulated in these caddies. Uh, you notice you can't get at the disc. The machine does the work of taking the disc out for you because any kind of fingerprints or dust would really destroy the disc or any chance of a clean um, video presentation. So we're about to try to power this on. Let's take a look at the back, see what's doing. Now obviously there's no component or HDMI outputs or anything like that. It looks like all we're given is um, coaxial output. My TV is already on channel 4, so let's get that over. So we're going to have to go old school here. Get this coax in. Luckily I found some. Luckily I found a monitor. That takes it, and uh, I was really expecting composite out of here, but I guess it makes sense it's just coaxial. All right, so uh, let's see. Let's try to turn this thing on. It's already plugged in. Uh, what you apparently do to get this, get your discs in, is you, this big knob, you got to tell the machine I'm ready to load a disc. So you take it down into load, it's good to see we got a, at least a clean signal of the TV, except for this. Okay. Let's see, you shove this baby in. All the way. And out. And this is lighter. I think something's in there. And it says side one here, so it does have the disc. Side one. Uh, each side of these holds about an hour of programming. And then we put this up into play. And let's see if it plays anything. Uh, the counter is still not moving. Should be playing. These are the basic controls that came with the RCA video disc player. You got your fast forward visually and uh, rapid access. You, it's more closer to what we know as chapters in DVDs or Blu-rays. Hmm, I don't see anything playing, and that might be the reason why these things were discontinued after only two years. After being stuck in the development limbo this was for 17 to 20 years, by the time this came out, RCA was already out $600 million for this project. And it's probably one of the reasons that RCA uh, did not become, rise up to the massive uh, manufacturer it once was in audio video. Let's see if we can get this out now. Okay, unload. So you tell it to unload. 
I could definitely hear it running in there, so it was definitely spinning. Let's try to play one more time. Up to play. Absolutely nothing happening. I wonder what happens if I look in here while this is playing. Let's take a look here if this will see if we can see anything. There's the actual disc. It is rotating. I don't know if we can look this way, see if there's anything happening. I mean, the disc is running. It's on the stylus down there. But uh, no signals coming out. And it is super smooth. So I've heard a lot of these play and they hear a lot of uh, like rah, rah, rah. This is very smooth, very quiet. So there must be just something going on with the stylus. Anyways, unload. Tell it you want to unload. It's lifted the disc up off the platter. You shove this back in. And then you pull it back out. And the disc is back in. Done and done. It you know it is kind of fun. It, I can see how this could have appealed to the consumer. Uh, unfortunately, its timing was just not good enough to take over the market. So that's it. The RCA Selective Vision Video Disc Player not working. Four parts only. Maybe you can look for this on eBay. I'll give you a good deal. I can give you a good deal right now. Anyways, thanks again everybody for checking this out. If you have any more info you want to share about the RCA video disc player, let us know in the comments. As always, the STC Pod podcast is out every Friday. Check us out on iTunes, wherever you get podcasts. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll check you out next time.